Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello guys, this is the second lesson of Arabic for foreigners. So let's get started. Yeah, because as I told you, uh, the writing follow the pronunciation in Arabic the pronunciation is is the rule is the basic is the basic thing you have to depend on in Arabic memorize this you understand okay me at in this case but here actually you can say yes like English for example Ashara Ashara it's a special name you cannot say a special term you cannot say this is wahid plus zero it's not mentioned it's like 10 10 10 in English is like that right it's like that you cannot say this 10 is you cannot say one zero there is special term so this is a special term is special term 11 12 is special term but here uh, how they said uh, I don't know how to pronounce uh, how to to name it in English I don't know the term in English okay uh, when we go to pronunciation, I will show you that this from 10 till uh, 99, this one, all these numbers in pronunciation will start with this right to left, right mm -hmm. <laughs> to left, <laughs> like writing. So the rules, are, uh, the rule I told you before, you have to pronounce, uh, you have to follow the pronunciation is from 100 and above okay like 101 mi'atun wa wahid 102 it will be mi'atun wa thnan 110 it will be uh, mi'atun wa ashara this is it but from here to here it will be like uh, you know just uh, like English or all the you know okay 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 you understand this point okay yeah this of uh, this number this is very easy what they called Indian numbers uh -huh. so you don't have any uh, misunderstanding or something okay so we'll go now to pronunciation we'll go to pronunciation inshallah Not shiver. What is that? This is the What is that? Uh huh. And this? Good. So read it, please. Cipher. Yeah. Cipher. Not cipher. Cipher. Yeah. Because. <coughs> because. You know that in Arabic pronunciation make a huge, not a great, a huge difference. If you say this zero, in Arabic is we write it and we read it like we write it. We, we spell it like we write it too. If you say, if you say, if you, even you write it like that, 
you write it very correctly. You may memorize this because it's like an image. People all memorize how they write, even the beginners of Arabic learners, okay? They can write this correctly. The problem is always, as I told you, in spelling the letters. Some of them, like you now, they will say Sifr. This, this has the meaning of zero. <laughs> okay, zero. This has a meaning of especially especially the great one or the grand one especially the grand one or the big one are now uh, literally what is its right yeah sifr sifr not sifr 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 Sefer, it's a kind of volume of book. Sefer. It's very big. You say Sefer. Yeah. That's why you will find in some uh, religious studies for uh, the Christian and Jew, Jews, when they talk, when they are talking about the Old Testament or the New Testament, they mention this word. In Arabic, when they translate it, for example, um, oh wait, well uh, I I don't um, like this. Sefer Roya. Sifr al-Ru'ya Sifr al-Takwin Sifr al-Takwin One month the difference between Sifr, Sifr and Sifr What? The difference is, all, uh, is only between the two letters If you pronounce it for, for, for Arabic, for, for me, I'm Arabic If you said Sifr, I think that you are talking about this, not about this, not about zero because your spelling make a huge difference. My thinking, my way, um, my mind will go to a book or a kind of topic of a kind of, uh, how they said, um, how they said, a part of book, you know, book one, book two, book three, you know. So this is what I'm thinking. Not about this. So, Sefer, not Sefer. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sefer. Good. Sefer. Yeah, Sefer. good. Exactly so. Sefer. 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 Seen and sawed. We learned this before in the previous episode. We said sawed and seen. Yeah. So this is Sefer. Sefer. Okay, this one. Wahid. Not Wahid. Wahid is not here. <laughs> Wahid is at home. <laughs> By the way, Wahid is our neighbor. He's a good person. <laughs> Wahid, look. This is the spelling. When you said our foreigner, you are talking to Arabic and you said Wahid. When you said to me in a sentence or when we are talking and you said Wahid, I will go to um, two things, but not to this. There is three possibilities. No, two possibilities. This is not one of them. None of them is this, okay? So, Wahid, 
You said Wahid. Look. Wahid is like that. Wahid. And I say Wahid. Wahid. Wa, as I told you, wa, this alif is for extension. Wahid. If you said wahid, you actually omitted alif and you said wahid, but you also add another thing, another story from your mind. You said, you add ya. Yeah. And this one of huruf al illa. As I, w as we, uh, learned. yeah, learned before. Okay, so you said wahid. You eliminate this and you add this from your mind, and this makes a huge difference for me. Wahid, it means wahid. There is two, is two meaning. A name of person, male. Wahid is the name of male. So I would think you are talking about a person, about a man. Who is that man? Or I will go to think another way. You mean the meaning of this name. The meaning of this name is literally Lowly, or alone. So you are talking about someone alone, a lone, lonely person, or Wahid is the name of person. So I don't know that you are talking about Wahid, not Wahid.